It's that time again when the Powerpuff Pals share with you right from their discussion space. So, call your family, call your friends, gather around this channel because here at the Powerpuff Pals discussion space, we leave no stones unturned. Yes, we take you to the heart of our conversation. Join us now as we discuss current topics that affects each and every one of our lives. Stay tuned. Hello, hello, hello. My listeners on YouTube and Facebook, you can see the joy bubbling in my eyes every time I come in this discussion space because there's always something good, something new that is shared between us as pals. And for that reason, we just want to thank you for joining with us. And this evening, I'm so happy again and excited to share with my pals, Georgette and Kate. And I know we have a very interesting topic to discuss this evening. Pals, the faithfulness of God. The song says, my Redeemer is faithful and true. Everything that he said he would do, he does. And so we cannot question the faithfulness of God. But pal, in your own word in this discussion space, how do you see the faithfulness of God as you grow from day to day? I must tell you, um, there, there is scripture, I think it was Solomon who said it, I believe it's in Ecclesiastes, where he says that, uh, Great is uh, thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. Mm -hmm. um, so the very fact that I am alive today is uh, an expression of how faithful God is. And I just want to add that God's faithfulness isn't dependent on our faithfulness. Um, yes. <laughs> what he promises is what he gives, you know. Um, and he doesn't treat us like how we deserve Mm -hmm. He extends grace when we shouldn't have it. Mm -hmm. um, and he gives us more than we can ever expect of him. Mm -hmm. So that is my you know, idea of what faithfulness is. Mm -hmm. um, someone out there, pals, might be wondering, they're not Christians or they're not believers, and they might be wondering, what are these three ladies talking about, about the faithfulness? What is, what is so faithful about God? But um, are there any background that we can give our listeners today about what is this faithfulness of God? I can start for myself. Jesus says that he is gone to prepare a place for me. And if he's gone to prepare the place for me, he will come back to receive me. So to me, that is a faithful line of argument that he has left with us. One, he says that if I call upon him, he will hear and he will answer. So that shows how faithful he is to his word. So God's faithfulness, we cannot take it for granted, but it is there. And just like the other day we were discussing, I don't know why, why this keep coming up back. Um, the other day we were discussing and I talked about my friend and my friend said, consider it done. God's faithfulness is like a stamp or a label that you wear that he says to you, consider what you ask for done. Consider what I say done, you know? And for me, I can only rejoice in that faithfulness of God. And as you rightly mentioned, Paul, it is not conditional. We don't have to do anything to merit it or inherit it. It is there. God's faithfulness is there. But I guess there is something that we need to do, Paul. What else can you share with our listeners about the faithfulness of God? And even from your own experience that you have been through, how faithful God is to you. I had an experience this week um, and while I can't get into the details of it because it's still an ongoing experience and it's sensitive, mm -hmm. um, I had a, a, a situation in my office where on Monday evening we got a deadline, you know, and that deadline is impossible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And Monday night I went to my bed troubled troubled, couldn't sleep. Mm -hmm. And the Lord woke me up in the night mm -hmm. 
and he gave me a, a case that I could actually, you know, go oh, to and yeah. I went and found the case and uh-huh. sent it to my email so mm-hmm. I could look on it yeah. on Tuesday morning. And Tuesday morning, when I spoke to the person that needed to fix this thing, I got a lot more depressed because he wasn't giving me the answer that I needed. Mm-hmm. And uh, But I remember that I had prayed the morning um, and I said, Lord, there were three particular matters, including this one. I was really weighing on me. And Wait, I said, God, yeah. you, you can provide a solution and I'm asking you to provide the solution. But as I spoke to my client about the situation Tuesday afternoon, she said to me, I know it seems impossible, Mrs. Harrison, but the Lord still answers prayers. Mm-hmm. And I felt ashamed mm-hmm. because I had already given it to the Lord, mm. but I was still carrying it. Mm. And, you know, I had to say, God, forgive me. I'm going to ask you to take care of this one. And I sent a message out to, I think I sent one to you, Pillow, mm-hmm. and I sent a message to another friend of mine and this other friend, two friends. And I said to them, I have three problems. I need a solution. Mm-hmm. And this one is going to take a miracle. Mm-hmm. This one, only a miracle can help. My friend, one of my friends, he sent me a text in the middle of Tuesday and he said, I am holding up your hand. You're not alone in this one. Amen. He sent me a text at 12 a.m. Wednesday morning and he says, I'm still praying mm-hmm. for the solution. And Wednesday morning, I was on the road with Keith and my phone rang and the gentleman, who I didn't get a good news from Tuesday morning, mm-hmm. called it that he found the, the answer that we wanted him to find. Oh, you know, and I said to myself, Amen. but God, you're not, you're not easy, you know, mm-hmm. but when I said impossible situation, mm-hmm. it was impossible. Mm-hmm. It was impossible. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other two situations work themselves hallelujah, this week. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, it was a very difficult week for me because two of my employees are ill. Mm. Um, pressure was really on me this week. Mm. And with this additional pressure, it was a lot. But let me tell you something. When you give the Lord something, mm-hmm. don't try to deal with it yourself. Mm-hmm. Right? When you hand it to him, you need to give him everything. The case mm-hmm. and the pillow, according to Hallelujah. my mother. Right? Because he is faithful. Amen. He is Amen. faithful. Trust me, he's faithful. Amen. 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 Sisters, I want us to pause. Like, pause right now. And I want it to soak. I want it to soak in. I want it to soak up. When we talk about the faithfulness of God, just the fact that we're alive today shows God's faithfulness. We went to sleep, Kadian. We did not know what's happening around us for the night. We were in dead land, dead land, wherever you call it. Because we don't know nothing happening around us for seven, six hours. And our eyes just opened to the reality of life, but it was God. My Redeemer is faithful and true, Paul Kalian. Uh, I, I, I'm just looking. It says um, in Deuteronomy 9, um, 7 verse 9, mm-hmm. it says, Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God. Mm-hmm. The faithful God, which keepeth covenant mm-hmm. and mercy with them that love him mm-hmm. and keep his commandment. There is another scripture where he says, he who has promised, mm-hmm. uh, he will do it. And... Uh, Scripture throughout uh, shows how God has been keeping promises. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, 
George, um, God keeping promises with uh, Georgette mm -hmm. is not uh, limited to Georgette. It's mm -hmm. not limited to you. It's not limited to me. Mm -hmm. It is available to all of us. And as Georgette rightly said, uh, it is uh, not so much dependent upon us. Mm -hmm. When Jesus uh, was entering into Jerusalem and they were like, you know, um, why are these persons making all these noise and what all that? Jesus says, if these people shut up, mm -hmm. <laughs> the rock, yeah. uh, God's will must, will, mm -hmm. have to, even, mm -hmm. even uh, outside of us. Mm -hmm. That's how faithful. The Bible tells us that uh, the, the Lord, um, the name of the Lord is our strong tower. The yes. righteous. Ah. Yes. Yes. You know, the word, the, the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. but yet, the Lord says that he elevates his word. Above. Above. Mm -hmm. His, name, his mm -hmm. name can be trusted. Mm -hmm. And even I am a living testimony of God's faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Because I've shared before my dilemma. Mm -hmm. with John mm -hmm. and I you know God spoke to me very strongly mm -hmm. you know to maintain my stand you know in terms of my position mm -hmm. and I took the little one yes and I am telling you I am at a stage right now where I'm offered two jobs yeah I'm like in conflict now just to say Lord which oh. one which one which one should I be taking yes and I'm just showing you that um, when you wait, mighty mm -hmm. God, the Bible tells us, Lord, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. be of good courage and mm -hmm. he will strengthen thine heart. He mm -hmm. will come through for us. Yeah. He will uh, cause us to ride, ride upon wings like eagles. Mm -hmm. You know, he's faithful. And as it says here in Deuteronomy 9, he says he is a covenant keeping God, God yes. and, and, and he shows mercy with them that love him and keep his commandment yes so ah. as Christians we can stand on God's words actually I have to share another word <laughs> it also tells us that uh, God's words uh, it is in Corinthians I think second Corinthians I don't remember where right now but it says that God's words are yes and amen that's what we can yes. I said, take it to the bank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yes and it's amen. It's not maybe. It's not. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it, it is uh, yes uh, mm -hmm. and amen mm -hmm. to God's people. Yes, sir. Sometimes it, it will cause us to wait a bit. You know, with the promise, so, you know, given to Abraham and, and Sarah, it was many years to the point that they, they, started to become weary in waiting mm -hmm. and you know god that they tried their own method yeah but god did not accept that mm -hmm. but god came through he gave them the child at a time when it was impossible as Janet was saying god he majors in, a, in the impossibilities that God believes in this is this big, he does like the big thing, you know. He doesn't do this, I, I, he does the small things too. But he, I think, he loves when he can come through. Mm -hmm. There is a that has come to me recently where I'm saying, Lord, show me a token for good that those who hate me may mm -hmm. see it and be ashamed that mm -hmm. thou hast holding and comforted me. Yeah. So, you know, God comes through silently, mm -hmm. but he makes it that even our enemies, our yeah. opposers, our critics, they mm -hmm. will see it as well and can testify that this honor, it is God who has worked. Mm -hmm. And this is what we see God doing even in days of old. Amen. Amen. There are witnesses that mm -hmm. he is God. Amen. Sister, listen Amen. to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I feel like I want a tambourine in this place, you know. I want a tambourine in this discussion. See it. 
Because when mm. we're talking about God, we not, we can't put God in an old box up and no little box and no little closet case. We have to make God we have to make the world know who God is. I remember, I think I talked to the, about this story already. I remember when doctor, the last doctor we went to, the doctor looked at me. I remember a short little doctor. And he, he leaned up on the leaned up on the wall in the in the little room with my husband at the bed foot. And I'm on the bed and he leaned up on the wall with his foot on the bed, you know, like him in charge. Uh, and him, 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 him exercise, him doing examination and him routine stuff where everybody do when they examine you. And he look at me and he said, this is impossible. This is this not going to work. This, 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 the age thing is a problem and, and you're going, you might end up with a Down syndrome child. And he took us, after I done the examination and everything, he took us around his chair and he gave us a book for adoption. What I said, what did I say? He gave us a adoption. book, a book to go for adoption. But this is it. I can't hide it. This is it. 10 years now. 10 Amen. years. No Down syndrome. Amen. No missing parts. No nothing. When we talk about the faithfulness of God, George had mentioned it already, it don't depend upon us. We don't have to put our hand in it. We don't have to use money to buy it. We don't have to borrow anything to go pay for it. We don't have to work hard and slave ourselves for it. It is there. Consider God's faithfulness done in your situation. People of God and those who are not Christian, God is real. The very well-known song that is that is that is hitting the worldwide right now, worldwide web. The song says, "Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness." And then it further went on to say, "My God, that is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are." The one that commanded it stood fast. The one that called this world into existence. The one that saw Ruth in her, in, 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 in her widowness and took her to go with Naomi. And the miracle began there. That's the God we are talking about this evening. God is faithful. So if your foot has hurt you, talk to him. He's faithful. If you have to do a major surgery, God is faithful. It doesn't matter what the situation is or how big or how small it is to you. It is okay with God. Consider it done. Pause. Amen. Um, you know, we talk about faithfulness. Um, Kaden says he likes to do things bigger. But I think more than anything else, he likes to do things in such a way that you can't help but know that it is God who did it. Yes. and you can't help but give him the praise yeah. at the end of the day yeah. and that is why when he was asked to heal Lazarus he didn't come until Lazarus died mm -hmm. and the Bible says it was a deliberate act mm -hmm. because exactly. he wanted them to know that he was sent by God that he was the son of God and that he had power over death mm -hmm. um, and if all God has power over death what else doesn't he have power over oh, what yeah. else is impossible for him you know um he says the cat upon a he belongs to me why do we worry about money why do we worry about getting a who why do we worry about anything because he's in control of everything i know this week this scripture came to me when tuesday night when i was really low and it oh, says yeah. isaiah 43 yeah. verse 1 it says but now said the lord that created thee mm -hmm. O jacob and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, and thou art mine. Hallelujah. Now here is God the saying, I want you to first of all understand that I am your creator. I am the one who made you and everything on this earth. And I know you. I know your name. I know what is it you need, and you belong to me. Yeah. Now you can imagine if God says you belong to him, then you really don't have to worry about anything, you know. 
Mm-hmm. He said, when thou pass through the waters, I will be with thee. When thou go through the river, wow. it will not overflow thee. Mm-hmm. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not I be burned. Yeah. Neither shall any flame kindle upon you. Wow. You know, oh God is faithful. Mm-hmm. He is so faithful. And he's faithful on the fact that he knows us. And yeah. we belong to him. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he says, when I, when I, when I, when I, a man asks his father for bread, him don't give him snake. He said, what's much more me? Yeah, well, Your yeah. heavenly father who love you. Yeah. What is it you can ask me that I can't do for you? Mm-hmm. You know, what is it that you can <laughs> ask me? God is really faithful. And I want somebody to know that this evening. Mm. I want somebody to know that there yeah. isn't anything that is impossible with the Lord. Because sometimes we don't give the Lord certain things because we think it's too big or too little or too yeah, insignificant yeah, yeah. or too significant or those things not concern him. Mm. But as I said last week, everything that affects us affects him. Yeah. And you know, if we pray and we don't believe, mm-hmm. then... It doesn't make any sense. Yes, he wants us to believe because when we believe, we become a witness for Amen. him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to sing I feel like fire shut up in oh, my voice. Ah, yes, sister. That's how I feel too. Yes. Uh, yes. The faithfulness mm-hmm. of God. Mm-hmm. And it is basically an extension of what George had said. It has really nothing to do with us. You know, today I was listening to a sermon and the focus was on Saul. And um, just to give a backdrop, Mm -hmm. the people, God's people, having witnessed uh, the goodness of God, they said they wanted a king like all the Edens. Mm -hmm. And uh, God, uh, you know, Moses was distraught about this, and God said to Moses, you know, why are you distraughted? They have not rejected you. They have rejected me. Mm -hmm. So God, you know, he was rejected by his own people. Did he cast them aside? No. In fact, he looked for the most choice person, the best option at that time. Mm -hmm. And he... um, anointed and appointed that person to be ruler over his people to me that speaks volume about the character of god that even despite ourselves god will still give us the best but the other message in that is uh, that even though this man saul was choiced he we could you know they wanted a king to lead them they wanted somebody to look up to but even in his choiceness and you know there's no some word what i'm making up words we're making up words on this channel yeah. <laughs> and, you know, let's find a definition it, for it <laughs> his choiceness or whatever it is he had flaws and we saw that he basically led the people of God down into idolatry because of his disobedience to God, which also tells us very strongly that uh, we should never put our eyes uh, on man. Nobody, because guess what? They are humans. They are prone to fail. But God that we serve, the God of heaven, he says, I change not. Mm -hmm. I change not. And that is why we can rest on the promises of God that it is truly, it is truly amen. Because God's word will not come back to him void. Establish that very thing that he has said. You know, to hold faithful the word of God is. There's a scripture that I came across recently. Mm-hmm. In, and Job says, uh, the essence, I'm trying to find it. He says, uh, this was in um, verse 23. And Job said uh, um, that uh, God, uh, he is uh, of one mind. Mm-hmm. And turn him up. Uh, and what is soul desireth, he then that will he do. Mm-hmm. 
God cannot change. Amen. He Amen. Is the same yesterday, he Amen. is the same today, and he will be the same tomorrow. Amen. We can bank on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing is, um, we, we were also discussing and we were saying that um, a thought came to my mind and I said, uh, you know, the, the, it was said that when Jesus, Jesus be Je talking about the divinity and the, 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 the humanity of God. And what came to my mind is that, uh, is what the word of Christ says that what I have done, mm -hmm. greater than these, uh, you will do. Amen. So just think that it wasn't his divinity that allowed him to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to turn, mm -hmm. multiply but of because of that relationship that exists between us, you know, between himself and God, mm -hmm. which is also available to us, you know, as we submit totally to God, Amen. there will not be anything that is impossible for the people of God Amen. to do. And this is because, you know, and, and so, you know, it, 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 as I said, the Bible repeatedly expresses just yes. how faithful yeah. is and what peace we can be when we really put our trust in him amen 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 someone out there today someone out there today to might not even understand how god works someone out there today might feel that they are not worthy to call upon god someone out there today might even feel that they're not in the in within reach of god but we as pals are here to tell you today that God knows you. He knows your name. He knows where you are. He knows what you need and he knows how to give it to you. And so we as pals, we're not just here talking about anything that we read in any book that man writes. We're talking about the God of the Bible that we serve and worship. And we are giving Jesus to you as one that is faithful and true, as the needle to the pole. And so whatever you're going through, whatever you're going through, this last 10 minutes that we have, we're going to let you know how you can trust God with your life a little more than you're doing now. Alice, we have just 10 minutes, one line. Share with someone what they can do to just trust God a little hinge more with their lives. You know, God came and he made his earth out of nothingness. Mm -hmm. And he formed man and with free will. And man disobeyed him. Mm -hmm. And he had to come with a second plan to save man. He didn't have to do that, you know. He could have just banished the earth and start over a new earth. Mm -hmm. And this time, he didn't. You know? But he wanted to give us another chance. And what he did was to send his only son to come here on earth to die for us so that we can have an opportunity. And he says, listen, I am willing to save you. And he says, if, you know, you confess your sin, I am faithful and just to forgive you. In other words, simple confession, mm -hmm. just a simple willingness to change. He says, I promise you mm -hmm. that I can save you. I promise you that when I tell you that this is what you need to do, you don't need to do anything extra. Mm -hmm. You know, some people start off by saying, you know, um, pay $10 and we'll get you a visa. Yeah, and then when yeah, you yeah. pay $10, they say, oh, pay another $100 because we are doing what is going on. And we can mm -hmm. He says, listen, I'm telling you what you need to do. Mm -hmm. If you confess your sins, I'm faithful and just to forgive you. Mm -hmm. And his faithfulness is true. His faithfulness is consistent. He doesn't change. His, his words are true. He doesn't make promises that he doesn't keep. Yeah. He's reliable. Mm -hmm. And when people disappoint you, he will never disappoint you. Amen. And as I said, he cares about the things that affect you. Mm -hmm. Try his faithfulness belongs to you. It belongs to all of us. It's extended to everyone. All you have to do is claim it. Amen. 
I want to let someone know this evening that scamming is very prevalent around the world. And the country that we're from, it is very prevalent out there. It's a scamming. And the reason why people get scammed is because the situation appears very real and they desire. They desire what is being presented to them. But God is no scammer. Jesus is no scammer. He's solid. Just like that judge when he puts down the gavel, George, and he pronounced that case. God is solid as a rock. You can lean on him. You can brace on him. You can depend on him. And you can know that what he says, he, he will do. And I challenge you, trust God with your life. Just give him your all. And you'll see where he takes you from this day onward. Kalia. As we have been saying that God is really faithful. Mm-hmm. You know, he will not withhold anything good from us. He actually wants to give it to us. Mm-hmm. Um, the psalmist says in Psalm say that his goodness and his mercies, uh, mm-hmm. you know, um, is following oh, after us basically. Mm-hmm. So it's there and it is available to us. All we need to do is to claim it. Amen. And uh, you know, even as uh, we are looking, uh, we are on the the, the banks uh, looking on uh, to for Jesus's return. You know, some persons at this time may be weary and they may be wondering, you know, is he going to come, you know, you know, come Lord, even so, come Lord Jesus. But I'm here to remind you also that, uh, you know, the event of his coming was promised and we have seen how through history, the fulfillment uh, of it to this point. And so we see, we can know that, yes, he is coming. And I would just want to remind uh, each of us to just keep preparing, keep living, mm-hmm. hold on to our profession without wavering, mm-hmm. right? Because he who says he will come, he's coming and he will come. Mm-hmm. And we need to be ready for that great and grand event. Mm-hmm. You know, <clears throat> even in the faithfulness of God that we rejoice in, you know, as Christians, you know, living for the Lord. The Lord also is faithful mm-hmm. um, in terms of his judgment. And with even Job, Job says when he thinks of just how God is regarding his words, mm-hmm. he becomes afraid, he becomes terrified. And this is in reference to what he was going through in terms of his own trial. Mm-hmm. But God also promises that if at that time you're found wanting, you will be lost. But salvation is available to all of us to be received. And as uh, George Ed says, uh, that God is faithful to forgive us even of our sins uh, and the, 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 the guilt of our sins uh, if we confess them and give it to him. Okay. And uh, I'm encouraging someone today because we serve a faithful God, a God that is not only concerned about our life here on this earth, uh, but also in our uh, our life after this life when he comes. I would recommend and suggest and urge you to surrender your lives to him and to commit to him. And you will begin to see how God works in a, in a marvelous way. So as you know, uh, we as pals, we take the faithfulness of God very seriously. And our pal G is here. And I'm sure that she's bubbling to share with you, our dear listeners, about how she feels about the faithfulness. You notice how careful I crafted it? God's faithfulness. G, let us know how you feel about that. Okay. Fellow pals, everyone, good evening. As I think of the faithfulness of God, I think of the test of faithfulness. A lot of tests going on right now, COVID tests, HIV tests, if you have pregnancy tests for those who may want to do that. Mm -hmm. But there's a test that a 16 year old doesn't want to get a pregnancy test that's positive. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not married and you have to explain to your mother now who is the father and stuff. You don't want to you, you don't want to get a positive COVID test. You don't want to get a positive HIV test. But when you think of the faithfulness of God and how we ought to respond to the faithfulness of God, 
I want to test positive for that. All right. Because God has been so faithful to us. Mm-hmm. I know one of my favorite songs is the Brooklyn Tabernacles choir, choir song, which says he's been faithful, faithful mm-hmm. to me. Faithful. Looking mm-hmm. back, his love and mercy I see. I see. Yes. In my heart, I have had questions and I have even failed to believe, mm-hmm. but he's been faithful, yes. faithful yes. to me. And I could think of Bible characters who have in my mind gotten a positive faithfulness test. Mm -hmm. I think of Sarah, I think of Abigail, I think of Stephen, I think of um, Job, Mm -hmm. think of some young people like the maid at at, at Naaman's house, Mm -hmm. who did not just experience the faithfulness of God and left it there. Their response Mm -hmm. was was in tandem with that. Mm -hmm. But I also wish to just end by saying that I'm glad that God's faithfulness is not dependent on my faithfulness because I have not been very faithful or as faithful as I'd like to be. And I'm so glad that his faithfulness is not dependent on my being faithful. And I wish to God that all of us will get to the place where we are truly faithful to God. And I know we'll never get up to his level, Mm -hmm. but at least be able to respond to the measure that we can respond Mm -hmm. to say, thank you, God. You've been faithful, Mm -hmm. faithful to me, Mm -hmm. looking back. Your love and mercy I see. And may Mm -hmm. we truly be able to say, not just the words, faithful, faithful, faithful is our God, but to also say, because you are faithful, God, I am asking you for the strength that I can be faithful to you as well. Amen. This will be my input today. Amen. You have said something very important, G, and even though we have basically finished the discussion, but when you talk about all those Bible characters that, that prove God's faithfulness in the way how they were faithful. It's like an injection. They they, mm-hmm. they want other people to, to, to feel that injection, yes. the medicine that comes from the yes. injection. So it's it, like effect, a, it's, the yeah, effect it's of like the balance. There is some effect of the yes. between, yeah. And mm-hmm. the space in between God's faithfulness and their faithfulness, it penetrates mm-hmm. through others. And I believe with all my heart that if we remain faithful to God, we will see more of his faithfulness exist in our lives and in the lives of others whom we would Amen. have worked with and prayed for. Kadian. Thank you, Pals, for sharing. And as usual, we take you right into this discussion space, not because we are worthy to speak on any topic, but because we believe God is faithful in pouring his Holy Spirit in our lives when we gather this discussion. And so, can we us through prayer? All right, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for your love, and we thank, we're thankful for this opportunity to come again into your presence too, as a group of Oh God, just willing to to be used by you. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for just being in our midst uh, and speaking through us. I pray, God, that even one person has benefited um, from us sharing today. And uh, Lord, we just thank you, Almighty God, that, um, you know, as we have gone through, you know, thinking about your faithfulness and sharing, you know, we, we pray, Almighty God, that, even with our own circumstances, even with our own trials and difficulties, and we will, whatever it is, that we will trust you. We will make that deliberate decision to trust you. And that means we're going to walk as if, talk as if we have already received it. Because God, we know that you, your words are true. It's yes and amen father god because you we limit you when we don't trust you because your bible tells us that if we ask and waver we should think not to receive that which we have asked for so we need to exercise faith in our asking and that that looks what it looks like is us walking and and talking as if we have already um, received it so father god let us remove from us 
that this made and this spearing state, that worrying state, mm. and give us your peace and give us your joy despite the circumstances. It may look difficult, but we know, oh God, that all things are possible with you. And Lord God, that you will not withhold anything good for us mm. because your word says we should delight in your words and you will give us the desires of our heart commit it give it to you and you will bring it to trust you and you will bring it to pass so lord we hear your heart and your 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 willingness to give us that which is good so help us oh god to trust you and lord god as we're also reminded that as you have been faithful to us help us lord god to be faithful to you Lord God, we know that for some things, you know, your faithfulness is not dependent upon us. Mm -hmm. But Lord, and God, you have been good to us. Mm -hmm. Truly, you have not dealt with us as how we deserve. But yeah. God, your love surpassed even our flaws. Mm -hmm. And but God, we it, your, your desire is not for us to stay at that state because you want to do so much more in us and through us. Yeah. So help us, oh God, to recommit our lives to you and to be deliberate in our walk with you, in you, that with you, and to be faithful to you even unto the end. Because it is only as we endure to the end that we can be saved and we can experience and enter into the joy of the something that we are long waiting for and you have promised unto those who are faithful. Lord God, bless each of us, dear God, our families and our friends that we represent even at this time and all the viewers even at this time. Mm -hmm. Lord God, we pray that you will visit our circumstances, Almighty God, and mm -hmm. turn it around according to your will for your glory. Oh yeah. God, to the honor to the glory of your name so that Lord, it will not only be seen by us, but onlookers who are aware of our circumstances may see and also rejoice mm -hmm. for those who are rejoice or know that it is indeed that it is you who have come through and see your faithfulness lord bless us we pray and we thank you and we glorify you and we honor you for what you have done and will continue to do on our behalf is our prayer in jesus name amen, amen. until we meet again why not subscribe to this channel Share this channel with your friend because it might benefit someone. And until we can see your beautiful face again, these are the pals saying goodbye. Until next time. Bye for now. Goodbye.